There are literally thousands of books offering dating tips, and today there is a new addition to the genre, but this one has a twist. It's called How to Talk to Girls and is filled with advice for boys from 8 to 80. But what makes it notable is the author, Alec Graven, is only 9 years old. Alec, good morning to you. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. You're nine, but you wrote this book. When I was eight. When you were eight in third grade. Started as a classroom project, right? Um, yes. Um, it was actually just um, writing time. So, it, like, we got to write whatever we want, and I chose to write about girls. <laughs> and why? But not just girls, but advice for boys on how to talk to girls. Yes, because I saw a lot of boys around the playground. They were having a lot of trouble getting girls to like them. So I wanted to write a book that would kind of help them. Well, do you think of yourself as sort of an expert when it comes to talking to girls? Or? I don't really know. A lot of people have said, I was, um, said I'm an expert. Um, but um, I kind of think maybe since, like, I already, like, I studied kind of what do you mean you studied well um i kind of observed at recess mm -hmm. so you watched the interaction of boys and girls yes. and saw that it wasn't quite working no no but how did it become from uh, a classroom project to a book a published book well what happened was um miss dupree my teacher she gave it um she liked it and then she showed it to the principal and the principal sh um put sold it at the book fair mm -hmm. and my book was the number one seller at your school book fair yes and mm -hmm. then um a local news station called nine news went um over and they did an interview on me and then they told the ellen degeneres show and they it's big um, time <laughs> and then they um, <laughs> um and she asked about. me to be on her show and she um she so gave me um and my mom have a um tickets to go oh, meet with harper collins and the rest is history now we have a book yeah. so let's talk about some of the tips in this book what is the biggest mistake that boys make when it comes to talking to girls? Well, probably they um, <clears throat> they can't get over it. So um, life is hard. Move on. You have to get over it. Oh, if, they, if they the girl can't. doesn't like you? Um, yeah, because um, <clears throat> otherwise, like everything just crashes down. Like they're all depressed and they don't play and they just um, they spend their time getting locked up in their room and. Yeah. So move all, on. Yeah, yeah. The biggest mistake they have to move on. Uh, Some of the other tips you have, you say it's a bad idea for a boy to try for too many girls. Why is that? That's probably because when you get older, you have to try to arrange dates for all of them. So it's pretty hard because then um, you have to say, oh, I have to reschedule your date. Oh, um, can I move over this? And so it then, gets a little bit too crowded. Yeah, and then yeah. they get jealous, and then uh, they start all dumping you at the same time, and then you end up with none. You also tell a boy, important to comb your hair and not wear sweatpants. Why? Because, well, um, you need to look... Um, like, that's kind of casual, and so, like, you'd be a little grubby and everything. And girls don't really like that. And, and I know that you said if moms don't like it, maybe since moms are girls, other girls wouldn't like it either? Yeah, um, because your, mo um, your mom wants you to c comb your hair and wear sweats, and she's a girl, too. Sure, exactly. You also say that girls tend to like boys who are smart, so act smart. Yes. Well, um, they tend to like the smartest kid in the class. Yeah, so that might be a good thing to shoot for because then you pretty much get all the girls. Okay, that you're so like class clown, no. Um, no. No, okay. And uh, you also say that in elementary school you should try to get a girl to like you, not love you. Why not? Because, like, um, the hard thing is boys, they can't hold on to girls for a long time. So they're, um, because... Um, some boys, they might get the girl to like them at the start of a recess, and then at the end, the girl dumps them. Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, um, like some boys know how to hold on to them, but it's kind of hard. So, um, and that's why you just need to know the right way. In middle school, it's kind of easier because you're a little older, and, like, when you're about 15, 16, you can go on, like, you can start going on dates maybe if your parents allow and what's and a date to you well um maybe if a kind of old date is going out to dinner without your parents coming along 
we're probably an early date, and this isn't really considered a date, kind of. You go to a movie with the girl mm -hmm. without your parents coming along, and then they pick you up at the end of the movie. Okay, so that's something maybe you could even do at your age, maybe? Yes, maybe. probably, um, <laughs> if your parents allow it, because it's not really a date date, like going out to dinner and everything. Have you, since you've written this book, have you become sort of a chick magnet? Be serious. Um, really, not really. No. I thought for sure the girls would be all over you, no? <laughs> They're kind of all over me mm. when I go on, like, like when I go on uh, um, a really big news station like the Today Show, then they might be saying, what was it like, what did they have there, who did you meet? And so it's kind of like that. Okay, well, congratulations on your book. I think it's Thank pretty you. exciting. And also, some of the proceeds from the from the book or the advance are going to go to Stand Up to Cancer. Yes. You're hoping to raise $100,000 for that organization. Yes. Which is very important. Alex, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. It's nice Thank to meet you, you too. Nice to meet you. And the book is How to Talk to Girls, and we should note the illustrations are by Kay Asadera. And to read an expert, log on to todayshow.com. Alex Grevin, thank you.